So 90% of people are using AI wrong and they're not just getting left behind, but this is embarrassing them and their online reputation. And I used to do the same thing, unfortunately, but after two years of being obsessed with using AI for actual marketing and business use cases, I have figured out these five lessons that I can share with you guys today. So you can start using these today. And these will take you from a beginner AI user to an advanced AI user in a really simple way. And you don't have to make all of the mistakes that I made over the past two years. But first, let me explain what I mean when I say that most people are using AI wrong. So most people are going to ChatGPT or any other LLM and just writing a simple prompt. For example, write an email that would decline a sponsorship in a polite way. So everyday tasks, maybe it's a contract they need to review, an email to write, some type of research, but basically everything is just done in one simple prompt in ChatGPT. And honestly, at this point, this is amateur hour. It's time to update your skill set because this might seem productive and it's probably saving you a few minutes here and there. We can do so much more with AI already and it's a shame if you get left behind. So let's go and start with lesson number one. Lesson number one is that you should use AI only for tasks that you have already mastered manually. I made this mistake a lot at first when trying to create something with AI that I didn't really know what a good output looks like. For example, doing short form videos. Right now I'm doing a lot of TikTok videos, but at first, it seemed that I can do this just by using some new AI tools that are recommended, but this isn't a good strategy because I don't really know what the good result looks like. For example, I've been doing SEO for 15 years now, and if I were to go to ChatGPT and I've never done SEO keyword research before, and I asked it to, do, for example, do SEO keyword research for my business that sells farm management software, ChatGPT gives me an overview of what I should focus on, and there might be some good results here, but if I haven't done keyword research before with tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, then I wouldn't know if this is good or not. And believe me, I have used AI for a lot of like marketing strategy tasks and I'm not impressed with the results. Fortunately, I still have more insights and better strategies that I can come up with that ChatGPT just doesn't give. But whatever you get from this, it looks impressive. So that's why you need to know what you want to get out of this. So if you want to start doing something new, some new type of content, then start doing it manually first, master it, and then start using AI to automate and scale it up. And once you have done that, then let's go to the next lesson, which is to never use AI where connection is needed, a human connection. You probably have seen a lot of these really bad LinkedIn posts where you can tell that somebody's commenting, but it's actually a ChatGPT that's commenting. So don't do that. In the AI era, we all have to work extra hard to build trust and all of the places where real connection is needed, don't use AI. So LinkedIn comments, direct messages, emails with somebody, just write it yourself and be genuine. But then you might think, what should we use AI for if we can't use it for the new content pieces that I want to create that I haven't mastered yet, or the LinkedIn comments or emails? There's actually one strategy that I really believe in, and this is the third lesson. Pick one main content channel and go all in on this. So it means, for example, for me, this is YouTube. I create YouTube videos. This is my main channel. And from these videos, I'm also creating shorts, but this is all automatic because I'm putting most of my effort into coming up with the original idea for the YouTube video. And then I can repurpose this one pillar content into other pieces of content. I have TikTok videos. I can create LinkedIn videos based on the same thing and also carousel posts, for example like this one here. So instead of doing different things, pick one channel and put your own human creativity and effort into it, and then use AI to repurpose this content into other channels as well. This way you will be visible everywhere. And this brings us to the fourth lesson, which is if you want to really grow and leverage AI in the best possible way, then you want to scale up your publishing schedule and automate all of the repetitive tasks. So you want to have a content system like I have here. I'm using this maker.com automation, that's run through Airtable. And here I can use different actions to transcribe my YouTube videos, write blog drafts, newsletters, LinkedIn posts, carousel posts, repost TikToks to other channels, write video scripts, anything I want to do with content I can do within this system. So this is the true power of AI because with these automations, I have so many AI modules here, perplexity doing research, 
Claude writing content, Appify scraping different tools. And if you want to get this automation and learn to build your own content systems or just copy mine, then you can join AIMarketingMasters.com where you can get all of these automation blueprints and also Airtable templates in one click. So check that out. But back to the lessons. So this content scale up is the true power of AI. But as I said, it has to be based on your human created pillar content that is really good in quality. And only this way we can ensure that AI is helping us and not creating more low value fluffing on the internet. But a lot of the times we are wasting time on the wrong things. And this is where lesson five comes in. Don't believe the AI hype. I used to jump in every new tool and workflow that promised something really cool. Usually it turns out that they don't have use cases that I can practically use in my work every day. For example, AI agents are all the rage right now. They are so popular. Every Everybody is talking about them, but actual content creation use cases, there aren't that many. You can build really cool agents as chatbots, but this is not really for content creation. You can use agents to research, but you can already do this with the ChatGPT's deep research here and Perplexity AI has the same thing or Manus AI. So this is just one example of there's a lot of hype, but it doesn't mean that your use case actually needs it. So if you go back to lesson one, start with the things that you're already doing, have bigger goals for your content output and figure out what AI tools you can use that actually help you get there in a better way. If all of these seem too complicated, then I have this final bonus tip that you can start using today. And this honestly gets you from being a beginner to feeling like an advanced AI user. And this is having your go-to content humanizing prompt always at hand and always using it with whatever you are creating. Even if you are using the simple chat GPT interface and not doing any automations or anything like that. So, what do I mean by content humanizing prompts? AI outputs are really similar. If you use it long enough, then you start seeing all of the same things it says. And the biggest time suck is if you have to edit these AI texts so much. So that's why I have this content humanizing prompt that again, you can get from AIMarketingMasters.com. It's here under prompts and scripts. And I just copy this with almost anything I'm doing when I need to get content out of AI. So it's always included in my make.com automation modules where AI is used. And I also add it here to ChatGPT, Claude or whatever LLM I'm using. And what you want your prompt to include is a flesh score of 70 to 80, which basically means you're using the reading level of sixth grade, which is easier to understand and it will sound more natural. Using active voice, Consider using first person language. That depends on what type of content you're creating. And also mix up sentence lengths, add human imperfections and ban overused AI words like ever changing digital landscape, today's digital landscape, whatever the words. And format the text with bullets, lists, bolding and stuff like that. And so the next step is to check out this video next get your content humanizing prompt and save it for yourself and then start using all of these other lessons from my experience. Bye.